Welcome to Southeastern Louisiana University. We're glad you could join us for a brief tour of Sims Memorial Library. As you enter the building, two marble statues are there to greet you at the door. These are Chinese guardian lions, or food dogs, meant to protect the library and to remind us to lion up. Inside the lobby, in the far left corner, is the Charles Emery Cate Museum, which tells the story of one of the founding families of Hammond. Near the staircase is a video monitor. Watch this space to find out what's happening today in the library. We'll also show information on library events and services. You can also keep up with library news and events by following us on social media. In the back left corner of the lobby is Java City Cafe. Here, you can have lunch with a friend or grab a snack and a coffee. You can bring your covered drink anywhere in the library. Just remember that all food must stay here, in the cafe area. A popular spot on the first floor is the computer lab. These computers and printers are available for student use. If you need assistance, please ask at the help desk. Let's walk to the middle of the lobby. In this space, we host student art shows and other exhibits throughout the year. We also have an ATM and a Lion's Lanyap kiosk for when you need to access your account. The checkout desk is located right beside the exits. This department is called Access Services. It's where you will go for many reasons. First, to check out a book, you simply present your campus ID. Non-students can join Friends of the Library to have borrower privileges. Next, course reserves are kept here. You will come here when your professor puts an article or book on reserve for you to read. Finally, ILL, or Interlibrary Loan, is a service that will get articles and books for you that are not in the Sims Library collection. We simply borrow that item from other university libraries on your behalf. The final stop on the first floor is the reference room. This is where you go for research help. You will also find a busy computer lab and three large printers that are connected to your Lion Prince account. See the big brown desk? That's the reference desk. The sign above it says, ask questions here. So remember, we are here for you. All of us, librarians and student workers, are here to answer your questions. Here's a question for you. How do you get research help when you're not in the library? That's easy, our Ask a Librarian service. Go to the library's webpage to see how to contact us by email, phone, or text message, and even by 24-7 live chat. In the reference room, we also have lots of books that are kept on shelves that we call the stacks. The stacks are located in the back of the reference room. These reference books are here for you to use while you're in the library, but they are not available for checkout. There's also a Xerox copier that will copy, scan, and print documents. Now let's go up to the second floor. As you exit the elevator or stairs, you will see a large glass wall to your right. This is the math lab, part of the Department of Mathematics. From the math lab, notice the two wooden doors to your left. This is the library administration office. If you turn back toward the elevator, you will see a row of tables and chairs along the glass wall. The large room behind the glass is the cereals room. Let's go inside. In the cereals room, we have computers and printers. We also have a place where you can sit and relax and maybe browse our current magazines, journals, and local newspapers. The Serials Room is also a popular place for group study and collaboration. Here's a question. Where would you go if you needed a news article from the year you were born? Or much older than that? You would come to the Serials Room, where we keep scanned images of old newspapers on microfilm. This microfilm is stored in the file cabinets at the back of this room. If you have questions while you're in the Serials Room, please ask the student assistants at the help desk near the entrance. Now we'll go up to the third floor. The third floor of Sims Library has a spacious area near the elevator. This is where we host library events such as book talks and poetry readings. Immediately behind this space is the Center for Southeast Louisiana Studies, the university's archives. The center preserves historical documents related to Southeast Louisiana and its people. Please check in at the desk to use the center's resources. As you walk past the elevators, on the left, you'll see stacks and stacks of books as far as the eye can see. These books are not the kind that you would check out and read at home. They are what we call bound serials. These books contain back issues of magazines and journals. They are arranged in A to Z order using Library of Congress classification. These bound serials can be used in the library but not checked out. If you take one off the shelf, please leave it on a table or on the book cart near the elevator when you're done. There's a rule at all libraries, never reshelve an item once you remove it from the shelf. Our staff gladly does that for you. Here on the third floor, you'll find many places to work and study. 
we have cubicles and tables. This space at the Pride Hall side of the library is a popular spot for quiet study. As we walk toward the elevators, we will pass a classroom. This is where we teach LS102, or Intro to Information Research. This is a one-hour, four-credit course that is required for half the majors at Southeastern. You will want to take this early in your academic career. Next door to the classroom is the office for LS102 instruction. Now we will go up to the fourth and final floor of the library. The fourth floor is where we store most of the books that you can check out. Most of the books here are arranged from A to Z using the Library of Congress system. However, a few smaller collections up here cannot be checked out and use a different classification system. For example, we have government documents and an old collection that uses the Dewey Decimal Classified section. That's the classification system used by public libraries and probably at your high school library. Here's a question. How do you find books in the library collection? It's all online. Simply visit the library homepage, then click on the Books and More tab. When you need a quiet place to study, the fourth floor is a good place to go. Up here, we have small spaces if you need to work alone, and lots of large tables for when you're working with friends. The fourth floor also has a classroom at the Pride Hall side of the building. To get there, just take a left out of the elevator and go down a long aisle of book stacks. This is where you go when your professor schedules a library instruction session for your class. These sessions are held in room 474. Well, there you have it, a quick tour of Sims Library. If you have questions about anything, please stop by the first floor at one of our help desks, or go to Sims Library homepage for Ask a Librarian service. Enjoy your research and lion up.